understand, Mr. Banks, but these are the only wraps I have left. Just be sure to tie these the same way I showed you, and your wife's sore should heal in a few days. Absolutely. Come back if there's any trouble. Oi, whoa, Bevelyn! What did I bloody tell you? Don't leave your bed with your leg like that! I understand you want to help, but you're going to help me more by not pulling those stitches out. Look, I promise to call you if they don't make it back, but I know they will. <sighs> Zami, what's the matter? The guards are out again? Damn, that's going to delay our supplies. <coughs> oh, Zane's feeling crook? Here, come with me and we'll see what's going on. You caught his curl just in time. It's most likely from the seasonal shift. I'm sorry this isn't much, but this bottle contains a three-day supply of medicine for your little ankle biter. If his symptoms persist, bring him back here. No, you don't owe me anything. The underground infirmary is for those who are denied help or can't afford it. All I ask in return is secrecy. Why don't you see if there's any warm food in our mess hall before you both go? Take care now. <coughs> Where are they? I pray nothing happened out there. We can't afford to lose those supplies or anyone else in this mess. I should have gone with them on the supply run. If anything happened to them, I'd... Charity? Oh, think Tritherius. That must mean... They're back. You made it. Were you able to secure everything? What about the guards? They didn't see you or the others, did they? <sighs> Thank Tritherius you and the others made it back safe. Yeah, of course, come with me. We need to distribute supplies by need first before restocking the cupboards. I think that's all we can do for now. The other clerics and healers have endlessly assured me that they'll be able to handle the rest. What's that look for? Disappointed everybody else already beat you to scolding me? Don't worry, the sun is only just set. You'll get your chance after I make my house calls. Don't doctor actor me. I told you to call me Honoria. I still intend to make my house calls regardless of your protests. And technically, I'm not a licensed practitioner of the medicinal arts, so you just refer to me by my last name and that's rather uncouth. That's real sweet of you to say that I'm more of a doctor than the peanut gallery on the surface. But don't let any of the topsiders hear you say that. Now where's my bag? <laughs> Oi, what? Okay, whoa, easy, mate. You really think I'm ten times the doctor than those in the city are? Look, I really appreciate that. But I'm afraid I'm forced to be a hack doctor running an illegal medical facility for now. I'll never be recognized as a true doctor until things change in Nexus. <sighs> you have a point. I could obtain documentation of my practice in human form, but that would leave the people here with nothing. Besides, my identity as a tiefling would eventually get discovered. Then our cause would be lost, and I... I know. It's unfair. But you and I are making leaps towards change. You're one of the few in Osaria that supports Tieflings and my infirmary. I just... I wish I could do more. 
What? No, no, no. I've told you before. It's too dangerous for you to go with me on my house calls. Traveling alone draws less attention. It's not like it's a stroll in the park, either. You'd have to scale rooftops and secret passageways that aren't for the faint of heart. If something goes wrong, I'll send charity for you. The guards? Well, of course they're a concern, mate, but I'm not just a doctor, you know. If you were with me and they found us, you could get hurt or... See something you don't want to see if it came down to that. Are your ears painted on? I told you, it's too dangerous. Look, I don't have time. The sun's set and I need to leave before... What are you... <laughs> Ugh, look, I'm sorry. Please don't. I can't stand angry tears. Just... Ugh, do you have any clue how bad of an idea this is? Fine, grab my spare cloak, let me shift, and let's go. All right, you'll need to do exactly as I say if we're going to get to everyone tonight and avoid the gads, okay? Oh, and watch out for my extra daggers in that cloak. <sighs> That's it for the night. Let's get hidden back. You know, you didn't do too bad tonight, mate. But don't expect to come with me every night. As much as I'd like to make this a regular thing, it's too risky. For you, the infirmary, and its patients. What about me? It's a risk for me too, but that's every minute spent in Nexus. That's a fair question. I stay for my parents, my people, and those that need the help that I once did. My parents would tell me stories of a sanctuary in the Odesso Mountains. That it was the only place where tieflings would be accepted. But it's never been confirmed to exist. When they... disappeared, I was too young to make the trip on my own. I survived on the streets in my human form, Got a lot of help from others like me, and discovered my gift for healing. So I created a place for my people and other urchins to get medical help. So, um, <clears throat> that's why I, uh, stay in Nexus. Sorry for the ramble. <laughs> Thanks. We're almost to the tunnels, so let's keep... Gats, coming up behind us. Stay calm and keep walking. The path we need is just ahead. Damn, they're ahead of us too. Don't challenge them. Let me handle it. Evening to you all. Is there something we may do for you? You're both under arrest. Whatever for? Last I read the Nexus codes, there was no care for you placed upon... On grip. Enough to cause contagions to my wrist. A word of advice? You should have a word with the city armor about the lack of neck protection. The carotid artery is exposed to attacks which can lead to <laughs> fatal injuries. Reinforcements. Go! Run! 